Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to turn this simple mirror from Ikea into this fabulous golden ornate mirror. This one is a bit different, I'm not a DIY channel but I did make this fabulous mirror and I thought I would share how I did it. We're gonna need a mirror obviously, I got this one from Ikea, this is it some decorations they're made out of wood i got them all on amazon i'll link everything down below in the description in addition to the mirror and the decorations we're gonna need the following paint brushes of different sizes to make sure we can paint all the different angles and sides in the most efficient way glue to glue the decorations on top of the frame sandpaper to file the frame before we apply paint gold varnish for the paint itself and masking tape to protect the reflective surface of the mirror from the paint. I did this whole DIY project in my apartment, so I covered the floor with a plastic sheet to protect it from the paint. I taped the edges of the mirror itself so that the paint doesn't get on the reflective surface. It's not the end of the world if the paint gets on the mirror, you can remove it, but it'll make your life easier if it doesn't get there in the first place. I filed the frame with sandpaper to remove the top coat and prep it for the gold paint. I then vacuumed the frame to get rid of the dust. And I also used a sponge to smooth everything out and remove any remaining wood particles. Then it was finally time to paint the frame. I gave it a few coats until the paint was even all over the frame. Then I painted the wooden decorations, I also gave them a few coats. I let everything dry. I let it dry for a few hours. Then I removed the masking tape, which was very satisfying. And then I used a small brush to go over any spots I missed because they were covered by masking tape. I then glued the decorations to the corners. I pressed and held them for a couple minutes to make sure they are set in place. It's basically ready, but I left it on the floor for a bit longer to make sure that the paint and glue are dry before I lifted the mirror and placed it against the wall. And we're done! I hope you enjoyed this short DIY tutorial. This video is a bit different, I don't usually do DIYs, but I really liked how this mirror turned out and I did film the whole process, so I wanted to share. Thanks so much for watching, see you later!